So, it's uh, in this episode, it's obviously not bowling. It is in this episode, whoops, I just made something completely wrong here, let me just go back. Uh, in this episode, we are looking at our new flat. I um, was asking you guys if you are interested in seeing kind of a home tour or whatsoever. Um, yeah, obviously, since we haven't moved yet, uh, there is no way to make a room tour or whatsoever. Uh, but uh, I can definitely do something else and this is show it to you in 3D because I obviously modeled the whole thing and again, with the help of crop zone um, to, to make it easier for us to really to purchase a kitchen to purchase anything else to make sure what kind of the, the bathrooms look like and whoops I just hit my microphone again new year and again same issues as, as last year um, always hitting my microphone hell yeah? anyways so um, yeah I'm here in the building as you can see I am already in um, in the kitchen, which is obviously the kitchen, but let me just first of all, let me show you, oopsie, what are these making over here? Just let, let's delete them. Um, I'm gonna first of all show you a little bit around with the flat. So basically, and this is why I should go into this mode, and let's just fly. So you have to imagine that this is kind of the staircase over here, we are living in the second floor, uh, and so once you go up the stairs like this, we would be here. Um, and just open the door and boom you're just running in front of a wall which is not that bad because the room over here to the left hand side is pretty much a wide open floor so as you can see this is a very 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 big room um, where we have enough space for our living room and once you go here we have the big balcony which is actually uh, the sizes are really perfectly already fine um, I completely let me just quickly show you Oopsie, I can't do this in this uh, mode so let me just uh, show it to you in this mode that's already it um, on the back in the background you can already see that this is kind of the, the, the um, yeah plan how the blueprint of the whole building uh, but if we go back into this view um, this is where we are at the moment at the balcony um, so we have these kind of doors to to move away these are kind of swiping to the left and so you can just go outside uh, onto the balcony we have a little bit of a field uh, in in kind of the background of our home so we just don't look at kind of a concrete jungle it's more or less a little bit of nature if you go to the left side over here we have um, this cozy corner which then will be our place to eat and you know Know, just to sit on the table and enjoy life um, this is like a little bit of um, a diagonal wall or oh, it's kind of a, I don't even know how this is called in English but um, I think sometimes it's nice to have these kind of things to, to make it a bit more cozy um, we have all these windows here on the left hand side to make it all so yeah it, it is really bright the, the whole flat is really really bright there's a lot of sunlight going in um, which I do enjoy quite a bit um, and yeah so the kitchen as you can see this is the only thing I completely modeled and I'm gonna show you the, the, uh, this in in the rendered view later on as well because that's obviously the um, kitchen we already bought so I, I just redid this entirely and perfectly fine um, the only thing I didn't do is I didn't do the electronic devices completely entirely how they are but like everything else is already exactly how it is um, so yeah we have the three windows actually there would be heating over here we would have another heating over here and a third heating over here so this this overall room is also pretty much um, nicely heated if we then go into this room over here, this will be kind of the guest room. Um, we're gonna have like a little bit of a extra room over here. We're gonna put exactly a little cupboard or maybe it's like a little bit of a bigger cupboard, which is completely filling the right hand side of the room so that you probably could put all these kind of things in like your iron and all these things for laundry so that people don't see that uh, but yeah if we move further into this room next to it so you can see that's the kitchen over here living room over here guest room over here we go into this little room this is a small bathroom and we're gonna put also a washing machine and the dryer over here so that we do have this um, on the second floor as well um, this door doesn't just look tiny it is tiny but it is still wide enough to enjoy so don't get this wrong. Um, if we move over here, we have two more rooms to the left and to the right. And wow, I, I should go into eye level position and not like in a two years old uh, eye level position. Uh, left hand side would be the sleeping room. Um, as you can see, another entrance to the uh, terrace or the balcony if you want so, which is over here. Um, and this, yeah, pretty much just a little sleeping room. Nothing too special about it. Um, if we go back it's through here, this will be then. This could be another kid's room, for example. Um, I think for for the moment this will be the dressing room oh gosh my, my wife she's just too happy to have a room like that but hey I mean you know why not um, so if we move further in between those two rooms we're gonna have the big bathroom 
Why is that not working over here properly? Well, never mind. I don't know why, but I have to figure that. Um, so yeah, that will be the big bathroom. We're gonna have like um, a big mirror over here, like a, the tub over here, a brush, um, a shower, I should say, a shower over here, and the other stuff over here. So yeah, that's it's not that small. Uh, it looks a bit smaller in here as it really is in reality. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. What I don't have in this rendering right now is kind of another room, which is basically, there will be a staircase over here. We're just gonna go up here. Whoops, there we go. And then there is kind of in the size of, um, let me just show you, this size over here, exactly. So if you just would follow this line to close down the roof, this entire space over here, which is only separated by this wall, is the office then. That will be my new office room uh, where I'm gonna stream. We have two more windows to this side to look into the nice nature. And yeah, that's gonna be the room. Crapzone was already so kind to model this for me. So when I'm going to give you an update, and I'm gonna give you an update soon, um, a little bit depending on what your feedback is, but I'm gonna give you the update on this entire thing once it's done. And uh, yeah, well, done in 3D at least, and I'm gonna sh share some more photos in Discord and stuff on, uh, on and also on Instagram of the process overall, how the rooms look in reality, but I just thought, okay, it would be nice to start off showing it to you um, here in Blender, because that's the easiest way to do. And now uh, what I can do next is let me just put, oh wait, no, I just go down into the kitchen again and show you the whole thing. I pretty much should have done this because there is still the fridge missing. Um, this one will be here. It won't be a smack fridge. Just to mention, I just put it here because I found it in an online library and just wanted to have a fridge in here. But we could just put the camera here for the moment. Uh, and if you enable the roof and this just put the whole thing on the red. Oops, not red. Material. What did I just click? No, what did just happen? Okay, that's basically material. Yeah, that's how you would also see that in in kind of these kitchen um, Studios when they are gonna plan this with you, but I want to show it to you in rendered mode That's gonna take a few seconds now, um, but it's so much worth it. It's so much worth it. Wow Whoopsie, I just that was my phone. I just dropped my phone. Never mind. It's uh, it's not cracked It's still living so it's fine You're gonna see in a few seconds how this turned out um, I, I super enjoy how the kitchen layout in general turned out to be. Um, you can really tell already from this view. I don't want to keep that rendering completely perfectly fine. Uh, I, I will be able to show you some uh, screenshots in the end of the video and then you can see how the kitchen really like properly rendered once. Uh, but this is exactly how it will be layout. So we have the oven um, on eye level, which is one thing we really wanted to have uh, because it's it's a lot more enjoyable. It's, you know, it's you don't even know, need to go down all the time. It's also better for your back, not always go down and just, I don't know, yeah, need to scratch stretch your body the whole time. It's not really the best thing to do. Um, we have millions of cupboards over here, as you can see, uh, and, and millions of these things to fill this basically with trash, and in a few months you don't even know what's in. Um, yeah, then we do have uh, the big cooking station, which is um, obviously, uh, it's actually bigger than usual, which is not because we have too much money, it's actually because it's, um, you can buy packages, and this package, is, uh, this package always contains like the oven, um, the cooking station, and this thing which I don't have any idea how this is called in English uh, it is kind of you know what let me just quickly check this um, oh god uh, there we go and I need to put English behind oops no what's this uh, it's the range hood range hood I think that's it um, the range hood uh, these three things are always in one package and so you buy them together and since there was this kind of oven we chose we basically get these automatically um, don't ask me why, but it's very cool. Um, also for me, it's super cool because I used to really make the whole kitchen dirty when I'm cooking. I'm pre I'm pretty decent cook, but I'm pretty pretty bad in terms of keeping it uh, clean. So I it only takes ages for me then to clean it all up afterwards, which my wife obviously doesn't really like too much. But hey, I mean you know we share what we can do, and uh, I can definitely I'm better in cooking than in cleaning, but. Um, well, yeah, let's uh, go to another topic. Uh, we we do have um, this little thing over here, which is uh, also, it's super easy because it's between those windows, you always have a lot of light. Um, you can also 
watch out the windows and just look out what's going on outside. And then we have plenty of space to put down some other things. We will, I think basically our coffee machine will go here. Um, the toaster, as you can see, will stay here. It's not really the one we have, um, but it's very coming very close. Um, the color is not as shiny as it is in here. Um, but the rest about it is pretty much the same. I mean, it's a toaster, whatever we are talking about, right? Um, and there is not much more we have to put down. Well, our our knives, they will go down here as they are right now as well. Um, in our current flat, we have them to the left-hand side of the cooking station, which is, which is, I think, the best place for us to have it at least. Um, but yeah, that's how the kitchen looks. I can try to, well, well, I shouldn't have tried to move around because, you know, that's not really, woo! That's nice. Like like looking into movies, um, uh, into the into the TV in the 90s after 20, uh, 20 22 uh, or like at 11 p.m. <laughs> That's basically what the TV looked like. It was only the test image. Um, I just wanted to show it to you a little bit more close up. You know what? I'm just going into the material mode. Um, I could have showed you this also, or shown you this in uh, Blender. Uh, whoops. Oops, 2.8 where we could do this in Ivy, but I haven't done the lighting yet since I basically have no idea how this is working. Uh, Crop Zone will show this to me eventually, but we haven't done this yet. Uh, whoa, the texture is a little bit stretched over here. That's not how it looks. <laughs> That's definitely not how it looks. Uh, but yeah, so what I wanted to show you is, whoops, let me just, it's definitely a bit harder than expected. So these handles are really exactly the ones we have. I love them. Uh, they are pretty much modern, but yet classic. Um, Really nice little detail to the kitchen, I have to say. Let me just see how close I can get. There we go. So yeah, they are really not that roundish. They're a little bit edgy, but it still looks really nice and they're really nice to grab, which is not that, you know, it's it's not that relevant. It's, it's quite relevant to make it nice and, and touchy. So because you have to, whoops, uh, deal with it quite a bit and uh, you are in, in the kitchen quite often. Also the plate, the overall the kitchen working plate, however this is called, um, it will go out a little bit over here, it's like 15 to 20 centimeters to make sure if we have some bar stools or whatsoever over here we can basically sit here without you know hitting this wall all the time with our knees um, that's also one thing we have to do even though this fridge won't be the one we have this is pretty much the location where our fridge will go I have no idea yet which if it will be a side-by-side -side fridge or if it will be just like a freestanding a usual one I have no idea though but yeah we're gonna I think we're gonna find something really suitable um, this door over here by the way we don't really know if we keep it or we could just keep it open if we keep it you can really see it's already this kind of uh, medium um, translucent glass I would say um, I don't even know yeah, you can't see that here but in rendered mode it is a little semi translucent so you would be able to see that um, so you don't take away too much of the light so if the if the Sun just basically goes in here um, you would also have the light go into the floor over here which is I think not it's it's really important to make sure that you keep as much light as possible in your flat in general so I think we you just you know we will just get rid of the door in general, but we can't do anything else about this wall over here since it's a wall which is necessary for stability and uh, everything else about this building. And I think I should just go out of this mode again because it's starting to lag quite a bit. Whoops. And let me just disable the roof again. There we go and just select everything so yeah that's how it looks that's the flat i just wanted to give you a little update um let me know in the comments down below if you are still interested in the um progress of this all like my target is actually to have this whole thing modeled at the end of january to make sure that we do exactly know where things go and where to do things and also give this to the people who are actually doing it in our flat so they really know where things i have to go and where things um, should be placed um, but before we end this, I just want to see if I can quickly fix that. It's not really working the way I want it to. What's going on? There we go. Okay, fix number one. Um, what about, is this one? This one is working, isn't it? It is working. Okay, what about this one? It's working as well. This one seems to be working as well, right? Yeah, that that's the one which is not working over here. So, I'll just choose this one. Is it? Okay, there we go working again. I don't know what this was. Sometimes these boxes do fuck up a little bit, um, but for the moment that's just fine. 
uh, anyways, so that's our flat, as I said, and uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in a further episode. If not, I hope you still enjoyed this little walkthrough and um, how it looks at the moment. Now enjoy a few of the little uh, cinematics, no, it's not cinematics, it's just rendering of the actual kitchen. And yeah, hope to see you in the next episode and then we again modeling for Planet Coaster since I have a few things planned and hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy this. Until then, have a great evening, great day, whatever, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.